Like, I'm not a Trump supporter. I don't like Trump. But this is really dangerous for democracy. Nobody can justify this. And nobody can say this guy should be in jail for this. This doesn't make any sense. And especially if you wanted to look at past presidents with the same scrutiny. Joe Rogan recently went on his podcast and absolutely destroyed a lot of woke lunatics out there, such as Bill Maher, who have obviously been absolutely obsessed with Donald Trump, and said on quotes from Bill Maher that they would vote for a head in a jar over Donald Trump, which is absolutely insane, considering the state of Joe Biden and the way that he can't even stop himself from pooping whenever he's talking in front of people. He literally pooped his pants the other day and had to be escorted away from uh, it was some military ceremony or something. Uh, I, I forget. I don't have the clip pulled up in front of me, but he pooped his pants and, and it was pretty obvious. And he just got escorted off the stage while the ceremony continued that he was definitely supposed to very much be a part of. And these Democrats out there, he lives so rent free in their heads that they would rather vote for a head in a jar over them. And Joe Rogan absolutely destroyed them for this way of thinking. This tweet is from Kanakoa the Great, says Joe Rogan criticizes the Democrats' political prosecutions of Donald Trump, warning that the Biden administration is exposing how corrupt the system is and turning America into a third world country or a banana republic. Let's check out this clip here from this episode of the Joe Rogan Experience. That was very, very interesting. And then we're going to get into the Bill Maher statement as well. It really is like the whole country's hypnotized. And I just think this is a perfect storm of things that are happening all at the same time with AI emerging, China and Russia becoming buddies, us being run by a dead man. They're trying to stop this other guy from even running and they're exposing how corrupt the democracy is. They're exposing how corrupt the system is just by charging this guy with 34 felonies for paying off a, a lady he had sex with. Like what? And how? And by the way, I know people are not going to like to hear this. I know this is probably going to piss a lot of you off because you guys, a lot, like, people think that the left and the right are so different. We're all humans at the end of the day. We all have the same human nature. So this is going to piss a lot of you off because you have the same human nature as the leftists, believe it or not. But, you know, and, you, and you'd rather just hear me trash on the left and stuff. But I'll say that it's very obvious to a lot of people out there, to probably every single one of you watching this video, that the left has been brainwashed and that the left are completely obsessed and they've lost all common sense and logic when it comes to Donald Trump. Like he just lives rent free in every single one of their heads and they just they, they just lose their minds when it comes to him. But I think the right also has that as well and they've, they've lost their minds in, in many ways as well. I think 2020 broke a lot of people's brains to where, you know, everything that ever happens ever is a conspiracy theory. And trust me, there's a lot of conspiracies out there. Like there's a lot of bad things that the government is doing. There's a lot of people who are colluding together behind the scenes to make bad things happen in the world. No doubt about it. But not every single thing that ever happens is attacking you personally. You know, I'll tell a quick story. Hopefully the guy doesn't watch this. I, I would feel pretty, pretty bad if he does. But I ran into someone who knew me from YouTube in real life. I don't know how, but it, it happened. And... I had known this guy, you know, I, I seen him around and he didn't know who I was. And then I, you know, we casually, I casually mentioned that I did YouTube and he was like, oh my God, you're this guy, whatever. Okay. He was wearing, he, every day he would wear like a mask, not every day, but sometimes he would wear a mask, right? He would wear a mask to where he was going. I'm not going to say where it was for privacy reasons. And I would always make fun of him and be like, oh, you're wearing your secret identity, huh? And then once it found, once he found out that I did YouTube and that this was my channel and stuff, he started telling me about all the stuff that he believes and I'm telling you, these people's brains are broken, man. Like, it's like 2020 turned people into schizophrenics. This guy is wearing this mask because he thinks that the government is sending mosquitoes at him. The, like, robots disguised as mosquitoes to attack him personally and, like, do things to his health. Like, this is what 2020 has done to people. And there's so many right wing. I don't think that everybody goes that far, but people don't trust anything that's happening around them. And I guess that would be better than trusting everything to not trust anything. But there's no doubt that both sides of this thing have been brainwashed to an extent or have at least something wrong with their brains now like people's brains are just not functioning properly anyway just wanted to get that out there because i know that you know i trash on the left a whole lot and, and rightfully so i think the left is a whole lot worse than the right is no doubt about it but the right still has its issues as well and joe rogan recognizes that too well would he have paid her money to well it was whatever. the way it was written the way it was put in a ledger it's basically on most situations, it would have been considered a misdemeanor, but they they turned it into a felony. They trumped it up, and they trumped it up. All, yeah. No pun intended. Yeah. And then they uh, he signed like thirty four different checks. So there's thirty four different. 
<laughs> the whole thing's crazy. First of all, what a cheap fuck. A pair of installments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't give her all the money. <laughs> give her a little taste. Keep her on the hook. Yeah. That actually makes sense, I guess, now that I think about it. Because if you pay her all at once, she could just write a book or whatever. No, the whole deal was that she couldn't talk if she got the money, but obviously that didn't work out. Right. She got the money and still talked. Like, <laughs> if you have the backing of the political party, it doesn't matter. Like, especially the party that's in charge. The, but what's scary is how many... Especially not even just the party that's in charge, but the party that's willing to weaponize the DOJ and pull strings that they shouldn't be pulling that should be illegal to pull and things like that to get you off the hook, you know? Not even just the party that's in charge. Even if they weren't in charge, I still believe that this same thing probably would have happened, you know? Donald Trump would have still... Maybe not if he was the president, but let's say that somebody else was the president and Donald Trump and Joe Biden... Let's say another Republican candidate was the president, this would still probably happen, especially if Donald Trump has you know, the eligibility to run in the future, he was planning on running in the next election cycle, they would still be doing this. They would still be attacking him and they would probably still win because they're willing to do things. They're willing to play dirty in ways that the right wing, the Republicans just aren't willing to do yet. And until the right wing and, and the Republicans get, you know, more willing to, to play dirty and, and pull these same strings, they're going to lose because, they, you know, if, if they're willing to weaponize DOJ and, you know, I don't want to get too specific, but pull these strings that I'm talking about, and the right wing's not, it's pretty obvious who's going to win, right? Democrats are willing to allow this kind of stuff to happen. But a lot of them are aware of it. There was this one lady that went viral, and she was talking about it, and she was saying, you have to understand, like, I'm not a Trump supporter, I don't like Trump. But this is really dangerous for democracy. Nobody can justify this. And nobody can say this guy should be in jail for this. This doesn't make any sense. And especially if you wanted to look at past presidents with the same scrutiny, I mean, there's, there's so many instances of things that you could go. And this was one of the things that Obama had said when Obama got into office. They were talking. If you enjoy content like this, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out a ton. Let's get back to the video. Talking about George Bush and Dick Cheney being charged with war crimes. And he was saying, we're not going to look to the past. We're going to look towards the future. Mm -hmm. You know, like, we're not going to prosecute anybody. You imagine if, if when Obama got into office, if he decided to prosecute Dick Cheney and George Bush for crimes against humanity. Yeah, crazy. Oh my God. Can you, you know how crazy that would be? Do you know how divided the country would be then? It'd be like, I, look, it would be more reasonable than what they're doing right now. You know, it would be more, re it would be a much more noble cause, <laughs> in my opinion. Let me know in the comments if I'm completely wrong. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm completely wrong. It would be a much more noble cause for a administration to go after someone for crimes against humanity. Rather than going, going after someone for, you know, possibly not paying as much taxes as they should or paying off someone to stay quiet, paying off a, a woman to stay quiet and, and don't talk about the relations that you had. To go after someone for crimes against humanity or something, it'd be a much more noble, noble cause and you'd be much more likely to be doing it for the right reasons, especially if it's a past president that isn't your political opponent directly. That's where it starts to get messy. Like if Donald Trump wasn't a direct political opponent of Joe Biden and the Biden administration, it'd be different. If, if he had served his two terms already, they probably wouldn't even be going after him, but it would be a different story. You could think maybe this guy actually did something wrong, but because he's dire a direct threat and the biggest threat to their administration and to their power, that's how you know it's just, you know, it's, it's something nefarious going on. It's definitely weaponizing. So yeah, I, I think that if Obama went after past presidents for crimes against humanity, it would probably be much more noble and I would be much more open to accepting that for sure. And let me know in the comments if I'm completely wrong. I do want to play you this Bill Maher clip that I was talking about that Joe Rogan is basically directly attacking here. This one is from MAGA Elvis. It says, Bill Maher says that Biden is going to effing lose, but he'd vote for his head in a jar of blue liquid over Donald Trump. Let's check this out real quick. I mean, or whatever it is. Can't say it enough. I would. I said it many times. I would vote for his head in a jar of blue liquid <laughs> over Donald Trump. But that doesn't mean that I'm not. First of all, I don't think. I think it's a moot point at this point. Uh -huh. He's gonna fucking lose. Who Biden? Yes. No, you're wrong. No. I'm gonna bet you. Oh great. What should we bet? By the way, this person is coping very, very hard. The only way that Biden doesn't lose is if there's something that isn't supposed to happen happens. If you know what I mean and. If they, if they don't allow Trump to win, 
by force. I, I can't say the actual words, but you know what I'm saying. The only way that, that Biden doesn't lose is if if they they either put Trump in jail or they do something to the election to to make it you know make sure that Trump can't win. This person absolutely had a meltdown after what Bill Maher just said, by the way. But the fact that he said that he'd still vote for Joe Biden's head in a jar <laughs> over Donald Trump just shows you how rent free Donald Trump lives in all these people's heads. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you're thinking about what Joe Rogan had to say. I thought it was very interesting that he compared this this whole thing to you know Obama prosecuting the past presidents for for you know crimes against humanity, like Bush and 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 Cheney and those guys. I don't know. How, how do you feel about that comparison? Like I said, I think that if that would be a uh, that would be much more reasonable in my eyes. But I might be completely wrong. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and hope to see you guys on the next one.